have the the uh, the uh, the, the but we have the ability to hold on and to make it work. Make sure what we are giving is going to work because the anointing is in us. It is easy to run away. It is easy to run away. The Bible says, "Whatsoever you lay your hand shall prosper." Amen. Mm -hmm. It didn't say something. He said, "Whatsoever we touch." Amen. And he said. Everywhere the soul of our feet shall tread, it will possess. That means anywhere you live, anywhere you are, as long as your soul has landed there, you possess that country, you will prosper there. Amen? It is according to God's agenda. There is no Africa. There is no Europe. There are people that doesn't have any money in Europe. The man that passed last time. He has lived here for so many years. Now people have to contribute to take his, uh, to, to arrange his whatever, because he doesn't have, he does not save any money for, you know, for, 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 it doesn't matter where we are. Amen? There are people in this Europe for 50 years. They don't have 10 euro in their account. Their life has been rendered useless. It is not about where we live. It is about we having Jesus. And as we live in Jesus, the Bible says we can do all things. Amen? Mm -hmm. Through all things. Through Christ that strengthens us. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Esther started doing the purposes of God for her life. And what happened? There arise an enemy. An enemy called Hema that want to frustrate her, her work, that want to destroy her, that want to kill her. They want not just her, but everything that she's doing. That, that, uh, that you know, that she, uh, she was a queen. Hallelujah, amen. And these people are his people, are, are her people, the people of Jewish that the, this Emma was trying to kill. This Emma, was also close to the king. Yes, he was, he was a powerful man. He was not just somebody, ordinary person. He was strong. He, he was also in prominent places. He has his connections. Amen? So the enemy that was fighting Esther, Queen Esther was also as high as she is. Even higher because that man was there before she came. But of course, the favor of God brought Queen Esther to that position where she is. But that man has the ability to make the king do what is impossible. Esther needed to fast for three days and, and three nights for that, for her to be able to fight back. So some of us are already told what we're supposed to do. We know our calling. We are already in it, but there is an Herman, a wicked power that don't want us to have peace in the doing of our businesses, that don't want our businesses to grow, that don't want us to uh, fulfill our purpose, that is very, very persistent and persuasive uh, to kill and to destroy us. Amen. Amen. Sommigen van ons, we kennen onze roeping al, maar er is een goddeloze macht, er is een Herman, een goddeloze macht, die wil niet dat onze bedrijf groeit, die, is onze doelen aan het, aan het, die, 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 die wil niet dat onze doelen gemanifesteerd worden. Maar koning, koningin Esther, zij deed het werk van God, maar er kwam een vijand die hij wilde vernietigen en die wilde alles wat ze deed vernietigen. Maar zij was de koningin en dit zijn haar mensen en, en, en deze man was ook heel dicht bij de koning, maar hij was sterk en hij had heel veel connecties en hij was heel hoog. En koningin Esther moest drie dagen vasten, uh, ze moest drie dagen vasten om dit te verbreken. Amen. En daarom... Amen. Yeah, you are cutting, cutting, so I thought maybe you are done. Those, which is, uh, we, we have, amen, an enemy. You see, when you read Esther, Esther, we are going to praise very soon. Esther 7, eh, when she went to the king after fasting and prayer, that means she's now busy with spiritual things to make sure the physical 
purpose that God has given to her work to make sure that the business and the people that God has given to you stay alive. We need to enter into the spirit. And we have to realize that it's a battle. It's a battle. And we have to decide to fight. Amen. Esther, Queen Esther said, I will fight. If I have to die, I will die. But I'm not going to let this enemy take what God has given to me. I'm not going to let this power destroy the plans and purposes of God for my life or to kill that business or to destroy the thing that God has given to me. Remember, this was an enemy that was inside an insider. Actually, it was not far away. This man was living with her. This man even went to came to drink with her. This man was close to her eh, husband. Amen. It was in far away. What God? What has God? give it to you. Have you fought for it? Have you fought so hard to the extent that you say, you know what? I am not afraid of what is going to happen. I will make sure this thing, I will not lose it because God gave it to me. Amen. Amen. Heb je wel gevochten wat je van God gekregen hebt? Dat, uh, uh, dat, dat je niet bang bent en dat je ervoor zal vechten. Want we hebben allemaal een vijand. En, en, en koningin Esther, ze ging vasten en ze ging bidden. En we moeten, allemaal, we moeten allemaal leven in de geest. Het is een gebed, maar het is ook een gevecht. En koningin Esther is gaan vechten. Um, um, zodat de vijand niks van haar zal afpakken. En zodat uh, haar doelen niet worden vernietigd. Wat ze van God heeft gekregen. Want sommigen van, amen. Halleluja. You know that uh, this uh, preaching will come on uh, YouTube, so it has to be okay, your interpretation. Hallelujah. The Bible said, 7 verse 4, it said, For we have been sold, my people and I, to be destroyed, to be killed, and to be annihilated. Yeah? We have been sold as male and female slaves. That is what Satan wants us to be. To be a slave, to be under his domain, not to move, not to do anything. Just stay there. And as soon as we try to rise, he come again with full force to keep us so that we can go back into that captivity where God has brought us from. So when we realize that there is a spiritual warfare going on, for that business to stand, you need to push. For you to leave begging, oh, give me one euro, give me two euro, uh, or sit and not, not do nothing with your life, there is a power behind it. We have to make up our mind that we cannot be like this. If that business must work, I must be. In fact, this is not the only business I'm going to have. I'm going to build another business. There is a branch for this business. It must work. Why? Because you and there is a spiritual power behind it. So that's why. As you fight spiritually, you also need to push physically. Amen. 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 Satan wil, wil dat wij slaven blijven, zodat wij niks doen en dat we gewoon daar blijven, bij hem blijven. Maar wij willen omhoog gaan en op het moment dat we omhoog gaan, komen wij weer terug in gevangenschap. En daarom moeten we blijven duwen en we moeten aan onze bedrijf blijven werken. En Misschien wil je ook nog meerdere... Amen. 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 Halleluja. Yes. We, we willen, voor, uh, als we vooruit gaan, de vijanden willen ons terug houden. Halleluja. Hè? Dus je moet weten dat je bent in een gevecht. Is een fight. It's a fight. That business is not working. It's not ordinary. It's not about opening another business or sitting and be say, blaming everybody. You have not entered that calling. You uh, that God say you should go and do. It's not ordinary. There are powers. You need to fight until it works. Amen. Physically and spiritually. After you finish your fasting and pray, go. There be a business that you are actually praying on. Okay? Go look if something is uh, can be done to improve it. Is it the website? Is it the uh, uh, is it the uh, advertisement? Is it something has to be done? It may also physically, spiritual improvement and physical improvement. Why? 
because God has given to us. And the Bible said, and Esther said, Esther 6 said, Esther said, the adversary and enemy of the is the wicked Haman. The adversary, the powers that are fighting, that are using people that is working against that business they are wicked powers they don't understand storytellers they don't want they don't care about procrastination they don't even care that you say you're a pastor they just eh the only language that this power hears with the mountain is consistent prayer not praying one day for that business and you just wait again for another one week to pray on it consistent every day you bombard them Every day you bombard it and you look again. If it didn't work, you work. you keep on praying until it works. Amen. Praying right. and also pushing it physically. Amen. 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 Deze tegenstanders is een slechte haman. Uh, uh, deze geesten, ze begrijpen en geven niks uh, om je, of je pastoor bent of niet. Daarom moet je consistent bidden. Elke week bidden. Niet één week wel en één week niet. Maar consistent bidden elke week. En je moet elke doorgaan dag, met gebed. Elke dag bidden. Elke dag. Amen. Yes. Elke week is één keer per zeven dag. Elke dag. Amen. Yes. Amen. En daarom moet je elke dag bidden. Je moet doorgaan met gebed en, en je moet doorgaan tot het werk. Fysiek en ook spiritueel, want het is, het is een gevecht. En het is niet dat je een ander bedrijf moet openen, maar je moet dit bedrijf wat je hebt, moet je perfectioneren. Je moet blijven vechten totdat het werkt, fysiek en spiritueel, na vaste en gebed. Verbeter je bedrijf. Wat je van...